my lovely viewers how are you all hope you all are doing well and safe this is once again rituparna shahadatta welcome back to my channel splendid kiddo so kids i know those who are regular viewers of my channel they know that every time i am uploading the uh, videos regarding abacus and all the abacus classes videos i am putting in particular playlist so uh, for, for to, today those who are new viewers of my channel please go through that playlist and you can get all the informations regarding abacus still my abacus classes are going on through online classes and also i will give you the numbers those who wants to learn online also you can contact with me otherwise you can uh, follow all the videos properly so that without cost you can get the informations regarding abacus because after abacus i will start the vedic vedic maths as well so let's get started already i um, told you the formulas big friend formula and small friend formula positive negative and combinations formula so uh, i will make one video for also the for the combination formula and uh, separate separate all the formulas i will uh, show you in the videos so today i will teach you first time the multiplication so how we will do let's get started look you have to when you are very care you, this is once uh, once i can tell you that whenever you are going to start the multiplication through abacus you have to learn the table very carefully from number 2 to number 9 so because in this case multiplication you have to learn this table very pro very carefully okay so 76 times 3 how we will do you know if the digits are two digit number then i can take the three digit rod that means 100 place so first i have to multiply 7 times 3 then i will multiply 6 times 3 7 times 3 i know 7 times 3 is a 21 here already the tables are showing here so you can easily understand 3 times 7 or 7 times 3 is equal to 21 how i will do 7 times 3 i, I have to start from the tens from the 100 b 100 place rod okay so 7 times 3 is equal to 21 21 means 10 20 One right, then six times three means eighteen. So how I will do? Then I will go to the tens place. Ten, five, six, seven, eight. Here is my answer: two hundred twenty-eight. Next, forty-five times three. Again, I will go to the hundred place. Four times three and five times three. Four times three is equal to twelve. So twelve. Then five times three. That means fifteen. So so one hundred thirty-five is my answer. Next. Seventy six times three, seventy six. Again, I will go to the hundred uh, place. Seven times three is equal to twenty one. So twenty one and six times three is equal to eighteen. So my answer is two hundred twenty eight. Next. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Thirteen times three. Three times one is equal to three. One, two, three, and nine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Thirty-nine. Next. Seven times three and nine times three. Seven times three is equal to twenty-one. So, twenty-one and 
3 times 9 is equal to 27. So, 27. So, 237 is the answer. Next, 45 times 3. 45, again I will go to the 100 plus. So, 40. Five times three is equal to fifteen. So this is my answer. One hundred thirty-five is my answer. Five times three is equal to fifteen. So again, I will take the hundred bits rod. Five times three is equal to fifteen means five and five. Five times three is equal to fifteen. Then eight times three is equal to twenty-four. So 20 and 4 and 4. So, 174 is my answer. Next, 15 times 3. Now, you can see that each and every from 3 to uh, 3 times 0 to 3 times 3, there is only one digit number. That's why in the abacus, we can't write the one digit number. Before the one digit number, we have to write 0. So, 3 times 1 is equal to 3, but we have to write 0, 3. So, we have to count here like this. One, two, three. Three times one is equal to three means zero three and five times three is equal to fifteen. So, so this is my answer. Fifteen times three is equal to forty-five. You have to write like this. Then fifty-six times three. Again five times three is equal to fifteen. That means I have to check out the for calculation from the 100 bits num 100 bits rod so 5 times 3 is equal to 15 right this is 15 then 6 times 3 is equal to 18 so so easily you can understand that each and every calculation if you if you are going to do in the abacus we have to learn our table very carefully and also we can learn the table in the finger abacus that i will make a one video so also you check it out okay so 6 times 3 is equal to 18 so how i will draw 18 means 5 6 7 8 so, this is my answer, 168. So, you can see it is very easy to calculate the multiplication two-digit number. After that, I will make three-digit number and four-digit number as well. And division also I will make. And uh, this after that, this, after this finish, I will uh, give some more examples regarding the addition and subtraction. And after that, in my next video, I will give you the carry how without carry or without carry or already you understand and with, with carry calculations how you have to do in the abacus i will teach you okay again three times one is equal to three so one two three and seven times three is equal to twenty one so ten twenty and one so this is my answer seventeen times three is equal to fifty one Next, 6 minus 9, plus 8, 5, 6, 7, 8, plus 6 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then minus 9, minus 9. In this case, I don't have any base in the um, ones place. So, what I am going to do, I am going to help the big friend formula big friend formula the number maximum the highest number is 10 in the big friend formula so i will use the tens place so if i if this is the minus 9 means i have to take the minus value of the big friend formula minus 10 plus 1 minus 10 plus 1 so this is my answer next 5 again 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 then then minus 7 again i am going to use the big friend formula so minus 10 minus 10 plus 3 minus 10 plus 3 1 2 3 this is my answer again 5 6 7 plus 6 1 2 3 4 5 
6 then minus 8 means again I am using the uh, big friend formula 10 minus 10 plus 2 minus 10 plus 2 1 2 this is my answer again plus 5 plus 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 then minus 6 minus 6 I am going to use the 10 10 uh, tens position again the 10 number so minus 10 minus 10 plus 4 minus 10 minus 10 plus 4 1 2 3 4 this is my answer so 7 5 6 7 again 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 then 9 again i am going to use the ten, tens position 10 minus 10 plus 1 minus 10 plus 1 is equal to 9 then let me check whether I the exam go to the exam 7 5 6 7 and again 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 again minus 8 minus 8 again so minus 10 plus 2 is equal to minus 8 right minus 10 plus 2 1 2 this is the answer plus 5 plus 8 1 2 3 4 5 6, 7, 8, minus 7, again 3, so minus 10 plus 3, 1, 2, 3, hope you understand my each and every question, if you don't understand, you have to give your valuable comments in my comment section, I will give you the valuable reply to you, okay, so next one is 8, 5, 6, 5, 6, 7, 8, again 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then minus 9 that means minus 10 plus 1 this is this is my answer 6 5 6 again plus 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 then minus 9 again minus minus 10 plus 1 next one 7 5 6 7 again 7 1 2 3 4, 5, 6, 7, minus 6. Minus 6 again. 4, then minus 10 plus 4. Minus 10 plus 4. Minus 10 plus 4. 1, 2, 2, 3, 4. This is my answer. 6, 5, 6. Then 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then minus 7. Then minus 10 plus 3. 1, 2, 3. This is my answer. 6, 6, again 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then minus 7. Again minus 10 plus 3. Minus 10 plus 3. 1, 2, and 3. Plus 5, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Minus 6. Minus 6 means again minus 10 plus 3. 4, sorry, minus 10 plus 4. Minus 10 plus 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is my answer. Next, plus 5, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Again, minus 8 means minus 10 plus 2. Minus 10 plus 2. 1, 2. 2 sorry 1 2 this is my answer 7 5 6 7 then again 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 then 8 mean minus 10 plus 2 minus 10 plus 2 1 2 this is my answer so already i finished 10 of the questions let me check whether it is correct yes all are correct so this is the thing so next day again i will back to the another part of the abacus thank you thanks for watching bye bye